Hi guys. So I um I've met an uh, interesting patient. Basically, have uh, anatomy variation when we do central line. So when we do central line, we normally want to look at trachea first to orientate ourselves, and then this is thyroid. So trachea is a half circle shape, and then thyroid. And then when you look lateral, this is what you saw. Um, normally, uh, here. Uh, you know, um, near thyroid, you would see artery first. But look what happened in this patient. So <laughs> this is surprise. Uh, this is thyroid and this is central line, uh, central jugular vein and this is artery. So basically there is a switch in um, position. Uh, I'm going to compare with normal patient here. So in normal patient, you would see thyroid and then artery close to thyroid and then vein. But in our patient, you see thyroid first and then the vein is close to thyroid here and then artery is lateral. So what would happen if you don't do ultrasound, you're probably gonna puncture artery first because you know normally um, you would puncture, if it's posterior approach, you would pro probably puncture from here. If in normal patient, you would you know <laughs> attempt to uh, to uh, infiltrate and uh, jugular vein here, but here you probably, the needle would probably hit the carotid artery. And then here is uh, another one. I'm trying to do a guide wired ultrasound, but um, what you saw is this is not guide wired in carotid artery. Uh, this patient I have uh, successfully um, put in a permanent catheter, so this is not. Uh, this is not um, a complication. So the guy wire here is actually in the jugular vein. So look closer here. This is jugular vein. And if you wait a little bit, you could probably see here. See, the guy wire is actually enter here, the brachiocephalic vein. So this is an interesting patient. Uh, probably encourage you guys more to do ultrasound guys in her fitness access. Thank you.